Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the best and the only working executor for the web version of Roblox. Now, as you may expect, the executor is a paid executor as it is the only working executor at the moment. Of course, I will leave a link down in the description where you can buy this. Now, I do have these seven day keys in stock and I will be adding the other options very soon. Once you do open the link, go ahead and click on the option that you're looking to purchase. And then simply go ahead and click on continue and then go ahead and enter your email up here. You can also link your discord if you'd like and that will give you a role on my discord server as well if you do that. And then simply go ahead and click on continue and you will be able to pay for the key. The key will be delivered instantly to your email so make sure you check your spam box for that as well. Alright so now that you've got your key let me go ahead and show you how you can set up the executor. Alright so the very first thing that you want to do after you purchased your key is head down over to this website right here. It will also be down in the description below. Once you have loaded into the website go ahead and click on register. Now over here go ahead and enter your email and for the username you can use any username of your choice. And of course for the password go ahead and also create your password. After you complete those three sections over on the code section you need to go ahead and enter your license key so the key that you purchased now make sure it doesn't have any spaces at the beginning or the very end otherwise it will tell you that it is an invalid key so once you have done that you can go ahead and click register and that will register your account now make sure you go ahead and also note down these details so the most important part being the username and the password because those are the two things that will be needed to go ahead and log into your account so once you have created your account you can go ahead and now log into that account so go ahead and log in just like that. And once you do log in, it will take you to this page over here. Now over here, go ahead and click on row exe, which is the Krampus executor and choose any destination of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my desktop and go ahead and click on save. If for any reason your browser blocks the download at this point, you can go ahead and hold down control and press J and that will take you to your downloads folder. From here, you can go ahead and approve the download manually if the download does not approve automatically. So you will have an option to click on keep file anyway or keep dangerous file. Again, I want to reassure you that it's completely safe, so you have nothing to worry about in terms of that. And that should go ahead and approve your download. Now, if for any reason your downloads gets blocked completely, head down over to the Windows search and search for virus and threat protection. Now, when you load into this menu, your menu will look slightly different. At the very top, you will see an option that says real-time protection. Make sure you go ahead and turn off the real-time protection, and then you can go ahead and close out of that. And you can try downloading Krampus again, and it should work. And once you have Krampus downloaded, you want to go ahead and go into Roblox. So make sure you go into the web version of Roblox. And now you can go ahead and load into any game of your choice. So let's go ahead and, for example, load into this game right here. Once the game does open, you can go ahead and open up the executor just like this. If you do get this menu right here, you can simply go ahead and click on run. If you get a different style of menu where it's just a blue banner, like a warning banner, you can go ahead and click on more info. There should be an option for more info and then there should be an option for run anyway. So that's how you can go ahead and open the executor. So once you do open it, it will go ahead and do all of its steps. And there we go. Once it does say this right here, that means you've done everything right. You can go back into Roblox and over here, you can go ahead and press the insert key that will bring up a menu just like this. And of course, you can go ahead and paste any script in here. And once you do paste your script, go ahead and click on run script and that will run the script for you. Now, if you're looking to use Krampus UI, which is essentially a executor menu, and I do recommend it over having to press insert to paste your script. It has everything within one place. Then head down to this link in the description and scroll down a little bit and click on download the binary. Once you do open that, go ahead and click on krampusui.exe and choose the download location. Again, you can choose whatever you'd like. Let me just go ahead and choose desktop again. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this does update almost daily. So you do have to come back to this link to download the updated version. You can't do it automatically. So once it has downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up and go ahead and click on run again. And of course, if you get the blue menu, then you can go ahead and click on more info and click run anyway. So let's go ahead and open that up. Now, this does come with a few options. I do recommend having on auto inject because that will allow you to just inject automatically. You don't have to press any key or do anything. You just have to have Krampus UI open and it will automatically inject into the game. And the other option is topmost, which is really convenient when you're trying to copy and paste scripts. So for example, if I bring this menu up and I'm clicking it, as you can see, Krampus UI still stays on top. And if I was to turn this off, as you can see, it just goes into the background. And if I click this, it goes into the background again. But if you do have this on, it will stay at the very top. Now you can go ahead and minimize it when you're not using it and you can bring it back up when you are using it. So at this point, you wanna go ahead and load into any game of your choice. And if you do have auto inject on, it will automatically inject into the game. But for me, if I do click on inject, it will ask me to firstly choose an executable. Now when it asks you to choose a file, you simply wanna go back over here and of course, download the latest version of the row exe. Once you have it downloaded, you can go ahead and choose that as your executable. 
And when you do load into Roblox, it will start injecting. As you can see, it's currently orange, which means that it is in the process of injecting. And once it turns green, that means it has injected and you can go ahead and execute your script. So let's go ahead and wait for it to fully inject. And there we go. As you can see, the text has now turned green. That means it has successfully injected and you can now go ahead and execute any script and it should execute without any problems. Now, the next time you go into Roblox with Cramp UI open, you don't have to do anything. And as you can see that it does automatically start the injection process. And all you have to do is wait for this to turn green. And of course, you can go ahead and then execute any script. Now, a few other benefits of having Cramp UI over the standard insert key is of course you can go ahead and paste multiple scripts in here you can have multiple tabs open which is of course a lot more convenient and of course you can also go ahead and import scripts so if you click on import you can go ahead and select a script and it will go ahead and open that in this menu and if you click on this little folder icon right here it will take you to the cramp ui scripts folder and of course you can paste your own script in here and it will show up on this menu so that's really convenient if you do use some scripts on a regular you can just have them saved in this little tab and you can open them up anytime you wish through the cramp ui and you can probably see why i recommend the cramp ui over the standard insert option which you do just by going over here and pasting your script now hopefully this video has helped you out if it did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always thanks for watching